Hi there everyone, welcome back to Engineering with Pritam. In this video, we will talk about Swap Blend. So far, we have covered all the tool inside shapes category. We started with extrude, revolve, and then we also saw the different different variants of this and then how we can utilize these tools not only to add material but to remove material as well. We also saw sweep, helical sweep, variable section sweep, volume sweep, blend, rotational blend, and their variants. If you are visiting this channel for the first time and would like to learn PTC Creo from start, then I would suggest you to check out our Creo Parametric series where we have covered PTC Creo Parametric from very basic. And if you find it useful, then I would suggest you to do like and subscribe to Engineering with Pritam. Now let's come back to our today's topic, which is Swift Blend or the last tool of shape category. Now, um, let me actually create some op sections so that I can show you. Um, even before section, let me also create a trajectory. So trajectory can be spline, which is continuous curvature, or it can be uh, made up of line or arc. Just to make things more interesting, here I have created this trajectory made up of spline. Now what I will be doing here is I will create few points here in this trajectory and with the help of these points um, what I can do is I can create plane that pass through this point and is parallel to this trajectory. Let's do here as well. Here as well. And uh, we need to create two more. Okay, so it passes through this point and this line, but it is through, but I want this to be normal. Okay, and I can actually hide these uh, default planes. Now let's create our last plane. And there we go, guys. We have created these five planes that passes through this trajectory and is normal to the point. Now let's start plotting the sketches. Okay, so sometime, you know, it can be a very mind boggling. So in that scenario, we can take a reference of the trajectory and we can rotate uh, it slightly because it is really difficult to work when the sketching plane is parallel to screen. Now here I'm going to plot, let's say rectangle. Okay. So in this way, uh, I will quickly create sketches in all the planes. So now this, this one is another plane and let me again, um, take a reference here. Again, let me plot another sketch. Now this is the plane, let's plot sketch here as well and I'm gonna take reference as this point which will basically help me and just to expertise guys I'm creating these um, sketches quickly obviously we can um, control and we can place proper value there. Um, again, let me click on reprints and select this point. And now again, I'm going to plot this rectangle and make sure guys, you keep equal number of vertices so that uh, you do not need to face uh, any challenge or any failure. Even if let's say there is a circle, you can divide circle to uh, four vertices that we have seen in case of blend tool. Okay, so now here we can see we have trajectory and we have got these um, different different shapes. And as the name suggests, this tool is a kind of combination of sweep and blend. Blend, as we know that blend tool help us to form a complex feature or geometry using a different different sketches of different different sizes provided the number of vertices need to be equal 
in case of sweep tool we generally have a cross section that we generally sweep across a trajectory but the beauty of swept blend is it have got capability of both so it have got capability of a sweep profile or trajectory and power of blend that let us vary the profile or the shape at different different distance or value now i think we have completed all the prerequisite of swept blend now let's click on swept blend and now uh, let's click on trajectory so this is my trajectory and again it depend on you you can choose any um, start point now let's click on section and just like blend we also can see here we have got sketch section and selected section so in this case i would like to go with selected section now um, let me choose my first section let's click insert second section insert third section insert fourth section insert and then the last section okay and then obviously at any point you would like to make some adjustment for example here we can do that for example you would like to connect this vertex with this one you can actually rotate it like this now we need to adjust this one as well let's click on section 3 adjust section 4 adjust and the last section adjust and actually i like this selected section especially in that case when you are new because obviously you know if you're going to choose this sketch section and if you have made any mistake you need to uh, create all these sketches from scratch so that would be really challenging but at the same time rewarding as well because then you will not see too many of uh, features being added in your feature tree but obviously there is a walk around you can simply select all these and can create a group so in this way guys we can create a fairly complicated feature or geometry using swap blend tool i hope guys you find this video helpful and informational if yes then do like and subscribe to engineering pritam to follow more such content and i will catch you soon with one such another tool till then you take care and bye bye